All right, guys, we're kind of throwing this in here randomly, but uh, this is the tightest dumpster I think I've ever delivered. Check it out. We'll spin it around for you. Customer said, uh, yeah, we can, you know, fit our cars in the driveway. You think you can fit your diesel truck in a dumpster in there? I said, yeah, we'll, we'll make it work. Um, we did make it work, but check out how tight this thing is to the walls of these houses. Not so bad, right? You know, you're like, oh man, you got, you got a few inches on that side. That's no problem. That was there. I did not do that damage, by the way. Come over here. Not to mention the driveway's uneven. Look at that margin of error. Very, very slim, but it's off. Customers are good to go. On to the next one. What is up guys, Heath with Lake Champlain Sanitation here and in today's video, I am going to be breaking down the pros and cons of using a dump trailer to rent out as a dumpster and an actual roll off dumpster trailer to rent out dumpsters. Now, I've had a dump trailer now, for this exact one for about three years. It is paid for in another video. I talked about how I bought it for $3,500, built it up and I've now been using it for my residential group. I have also rented it on the weekends. Now, my Rollster trailer, this is a PJ Rollster. It's a 2020 model. I've had it for just over one calendar year now. I've done about 350 to 400 rentals with it, and I'm still on the uh, original equipment. So I kind of want to break it down because a lot of you guys have been asking me, why do you use a dump trailer or why do you use a roll-off trailer and what are the pros and cons of both? So let's get into it. All right, guys. So we're going to start out with the pros of a dump trailer first. First thing, first and foremost, let's talk cost. $3,500, you can build the sides up on this for, I mean, with lumber being high right now, it might be a little more, but a couple hundred dollars max, you can build the sides up on this in a normal economy. So let's say, let's just round it off. You got four grand all in on this dump trailer. You're gonna be able to rent that out for, I would say anywhere from $200 on the weekend to $300 on the weekend, depending on who you're renting it to. So I'm gonna say that's pro number one. Pro number two, no winch, nothing to go wrong. You're gonna back up to this trailer, you're gonna drop it off, you're good to go. There's no real moving parts other than the wheels that are going to, uh, how can I say this, deter you from picking it up when it's full. You're gonna back up to it with your truck, hook onto it, good to go. Another thing, you can put this, this dumpster, if you'll call it, which is just a dump trailer, in a much tighter area than you can some dumpsters. You can crank your truck completely off and put this in a tight alleyway. You can put this in a short driveway. A lot easier than you're going to need the full 20 or 30 feet, you know, required to properly unload a roll-off dumpster. Now let's hop over to the Rollster, guys, aka my roll-off dumpster unit. Um, I bought this brand new. Cost on the trailer, 10,000 plus tax. Each dumpster was about 3,900 to 4,300 out the door. They crept up in play, uh, crept up in price. I'm sorry, as I went. So we're just going to compare for apples to apples comparison. You got 10k for the trailer, 4k for the dumpster. You're looking at uh, tax out the door, $15,000 versus the $4,000 other option. So the pros of a roll-off dumpster trailer, we'll go right into it, is you're got four tires to maintain and keep going. I have five dumpsters with my trailer. So I can go drop five of these boxes that are already four and a half feet tall all over town. I can drop five of them with one trailer, one registration, and one unit moving and maintaining. Now, another pro I would say is these have a built-in tarping system. It's not an automatic tarp that would come on like a roll-off truck but the, the top of them is open. So for a roofer, uh, someone that's throwing things out of a second story window, you put this in the right position, it's much, much easier to load than having a dump trailer with a roof on it. Now, if your dump trailer doesn't have a roof on it, that's null and void. But for the most part, um, the dump trailer I have has a roof, so it's, it's obsolete. You can't throw shingles or anything off a second story into the dump trailer setup I have. And where we're from, you need to have a cover on that anytime it's moving. And instead of rigging a tarp system up on the tall dump trailer sides I have, we just built the roof. So we'll go to pro number three. Um, in my opinion, now this is 100% opinion, 
I personally think a roll-off dumpster looks better in a customer's yard and is a little more professional than renting them a dump trailer. Now I've done both. I've done both quite a bit. I've used a dump trailer to represent my residential business, but I think a pro of these, you can see the graphics on the side of it, guys. Someone's driving by a house at 35, 40 miles an hour. They're seeing this whole logo and, oh, who's that company? And it looks professional and they're like, oh, they don't know what it came on. So they're more apt to look the company up. They know it's not a dump trailer. They know it's a roll-off dumpster and that in itself has 100% gotten me jobs this past season. So another pro that I'd like to say comes with a roll-off trailer and it goes kind of hand in hand with purchase price. I bought my re uh, residential trailer that I rent out used. That was used, it was a few years old. I bought this brand new. The trailer is gonna work for many years to come as long as I keep upkeep on it. The dumpsters are about four grand a piece. If I was to go buy a brand new seven by 14 dump trailer right now with four foot sides, guys, it would be over double the price of a dumpster then I got to register it. So that's one thing. You're not registering these dumpsters. Your commercial liability insurance is going to cover these dumpsters. Um, you know, you got to check with your agent to make sure you write it properly, but it will, and it's very, very little. And yeah, really, you're, you're spending the four grand one time and you have none of this other maintenance coming with it. All you have is the rollers that you need to grease, I would say once a week. I really can't come up with too many cons aside from the two simple facts that there is more maintenance and in my opinion only, I do not think it is as professional a term renting a dump trailer as it is a roll-off dumpster when a customer specifically calls for a dumpster. That is my opinion. I know it's going to go both ways, um, but those are really the only two cons that I can think of on the dump trailer side of things. All right, guys, so it's starting to snow, so we're really going to have to wrap this up quick here. On the rollster side of things, roll-off dump trailer, if you will, <clears throat> the elephant in the room is the cost. Obviously, it's going to cost way more if you're going to buy this new, even if you're going to buy just this dumpster and one trailer versus one dump trailer, you're not going to really see a, the cost efficiency aside from your business being able to scale at a better rate. Um, I would say that's really the only con to the roll-off dumpster. You do have the winch to maintain, which can get expensive. I personally keep a brand new one in case anything goes wrong, and those run about seven or eight hundred dollars. Um, seven or eight hundred dollars for a winch once every year or two, versus going through a bunch of tires on a dump trailer. You know, I think the dump trailer is still more expensive to maintain. But uh, yeah, guys, once you start getting more volume of dumpsters, that's when you're going to see the cost savings with a roll-off setup. So guys, I hope you like this video. As always, if you like these videos, hit that like and subscribe button. I really appreciate you tuning in. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. I'd really like to hear it. I've gone with both options. Both of them have made me money. Um, I think they're both great options to start your business. Uh, I lean towards the rollster and the roll-off dumpsters a little more myself. But let me know in the comments below what you guys think. As always, thanks for watching.